um, I'm a little sad today because my friend um, Valerie uh, has to be uh, somewhere else, and and so we're gonna we're gonna video this lesson for her so she can see it later. Okay, so you should all, if you want to, you can all wish her your best right now and say, hi, Valerie, we wish, we wish you were here. Hello. What do you think, Hello. guys? Hi, Valerie. Say hi. Hi, Valerie. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Yeah. I wish you were here. Now, guys, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Do you know what was the special day last Sunday, March 14th? Does anybody know what happens uh, every year on March 14th? It's one of the most special days for mathematicians like us. We love March 14th. Does anybody know why? Nobody has an idea? March 14th? Well, I am going to share this with you right now. So March 14th is a very, very special day. And it is known around the world as Pi Day. Everybody, can you say Pi Day? Can you say Pi Day? Right, it's Pi Day. Now, hold on a second. Does anybody know the proper spelling for the word Pi? You know that. Yeah, yeah, where is that? So when you have a pi, P I E, what isn't that something you eat? Something. I, you know, so, uh, I didn't really try pie before. Oh, you have not had pie before? Wow. Well, I have to tell you, I love Pi Day. Pie. Can you hear Pi Day? Yeah, Jason. Pi Day. Jason, tell me what you know about Pi Day without the E. Uh, what do you day. know about that? Jason, tell, tell me what you know about that, buddy. I don't know. You don't know, but you've heard of it, Jason? You've heard of it? It's so, so special. So guess yeah. what, guys? I want everybody right now to draw the special Greek symbol called pi. Are you ready? We're going to go like this. Everybody make an 11. Everybody draw an 11. So two vertical lines that are parallel to each other. And then I want you guys to draw a squiggly on top of the 11. And this is the Greek, it's the Greek symbol. Yes, Eric. Eric, do you want to show me your pie? Oh, Eric, that is beautiful. Everybody else, Nathan, Jason, Eleanor, Stella, show me your pie because it's not easy to make. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. How about you, Stella? Oh, perfect, perfect. Now, there's something kind of special, guys. If you have a MacBook Apple computer, I know that if you hit the option button and the P, it makes the symbol pi. Now, 
-hmm. This is, it, but doesn't it really look like two capital T's uh, smushed up next to each other? But it more looks like a, maybe maybe a thin table or something. Oh, yeah. So it's a table and we could put plates on the table and we could put glasses on the table and we could even put a chair here. And isn't that chair like an upside down four? And then we could put a person in that table no, and they can eat the bowl, what's in the bowl and drink the stuff. But guess what guys? No special. And I'm gonna tell you why pie is so special. Now, everybody right now, we're gonna look at the date, March 14th. Now, does anybody know what month of the time. year, what month of the year is March? We are in March right now. Is it the first month? Is it the second month? Who knows what month it is? Nathan, Nathan? It's the third month. Everybody go like this. It is the third month. So everybody on my page one, I want you to write under the word March, you write a three. And then put a little dot after the three. It's called a decimal. Everybody say decimal. Yes. yes. Do you know? Do you know that everybody now is on the decimal base ten number system? Many, many years ago, when people started thinking of the number pi, they, they used base twelve. They used base sixty. And even today, computers, people that, that make software and make games on computers, they use base two and base 16. But we, everybody, are base 10. Everybody show me why we are base 10. Show me those beautiful fingers. You could also show me 10 what? 10 of your toes, right? So you have 10 fingers and 10 toes and that, wait a minute, everybody, can you guys do your feet? It's a little silly, but everybody do their 10, their 10 toes. We are on the face. The face, oh my God. Jason, you are definitely on the base 10 system. And Eric, that is so funny. Eric, that is so funny. You are wearing slippers and I can't see your toes. So everybody, we are on the decimal system. Now, after the decimal, I want you to write a one and a four. Everybody say it now. 3.14. Everybody say it. 3.14. Go do it again. Everybody go. 3.14. Now, you would not believe it. You would not believe it. But there is something really special. Everybody go to page two right now. Now, if you remember, everybody, last week, last week, we talked about this very special unit square. Can you guys say unit square? Unit square. Yeah. And a unit square is a one by one square. Everybody say it. One by one. One by one. How many units? How many square units is this? Just one, one. square unit. Now, do you know that squares are not the only shape that get a unit. So circle said, hey, I want a radius of one. So everybody take their pen and draw 
put whatever color you want across the radius. It goes from the center of the circle that I am going to label as C for center. Everybody say, C is the center. C is the center. Right, right. And then everybody draw a dot at the center and then make a line all the way to the part on the circle. So this is called a point on the circle and the center and the line in between. Everybody say it on three. One, two, three. Radius. Radius. Now, believe it or not. Now, I, I don't know much. I don't know much about anatomy. Okay, maybe some of your parents are doctors. But I think everybody go like this with their shoulder. Touch your shoulder. And, and I believe that one of the bones or muscles in your arm is called the radius. So if you think about it, doesn't when you swing your arm, doesn't it make a circle? In fact, one time I made a circle that was about a six foot <laughs> diameter on my wall. And all I did was swing my radius. Now, I will ask you, because you are very respectful mathematicians, never write on your wall without asking permission from your parents. But you might have a special wall that is a whiteboard or a blackboard where you can actually make a circle with your arm, which is called the radius. Everybody swing their arm and make a circle. Everybody swing their arm. And by the way, it feels really good to do this. It feels really good. Okay, question for you. As raise your hand, raise your hand. If you've ever laid down in the snow or the sand and made snow angels or sand angels, have you ever done that? If you lay down in the snow and you make like this, it's almost like you can make a circle with your two arms. So circles are so much fun. Now, I will also tell you that I, every time I eat food, I use a plate. Can anybody show me their circle? Wow. Now take your pen and show me the radius on your circle. Remember, you have to go from the center, from the center, all the way to the side. In fact, look at this. I can swing my radius. I can swing my radius all the way around my circle. Everybody do that. Wait a minute, Nathan, Nathan, the bottom of your bottle is a circle. The bottom of your bottle is a circle. And what, Eleanor, what's your circle? Center, where is your center? Oh, no, that's not the paper. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Stella, Stella, what's in the background? I, I see yellow, red, and orange circles. What are those? Cool. Speak a little bit louder, honey. Tell us what they are. Um, they're like round circles. Um, yeah. But are they supposed to be planets? Uh, from center to... Um, they're, they're not planets. They're just side. circles. Yeah, this oh, is, this is that's dangerous. great. Now, everybody, you would not believe it. If we take the unit square, and we try to fit them inside a circle, guess how many of them fit inside 
the circle. Three. Four. Ooh. Four. Just wait a minute. Four. Some of somebody said three. Somebody said four. But I don't, said four. But don't you think? Don't you think that four has to be too much because all of this excess has to be taken away. It's almost like we have to cut it away from the squares to make our circle. Now, guess what? The ancient mathematicians, they thought that that special number was three. In fact, there's something called the Bible. And the Bible was written over 5,000 years ago. And they thought that three units made a unit circle. Then you can't believe, oh, actually, it wasn't just in the Bible. It was both the Bible and Chinese mathematicians. There is a record that they thought that it was three. And then later on, there was another group of people called the baby, this is true, Babylonians. And the Babylonians, they thought that pi, the number pi, was three and an eight, a little more. So they were off by just a little bit. Three and an eight, you guys are gonna learn someday, is 3.125. It's really, really close to 3.14. Then there was a man named Archimedes. Can everybody say Archimedes? Archimedes. And Archimedes, he got really, really close. He said that pi was 3.15. So he got really close. And then, oh yes, tell us, tell us. I learned fractions before like one eighth. Oh, well, do you know that every time I eat a piece of pizza, I always have to say, this is one eighth of a whole pie of pizza. Oh, wait a minute. That's not a pie, but it's a pie, right? So next time you have a pizza, if it's cut into eight pieces, each piece is one eighth. If it's cut into six pieces, each piece is one sixth. Or maybe you'll just eat the whole pizza by yourself. All right, now, <clears throat> there was another man in the year 1664, which was a long time ago, 300 years before Mr. Kramer was born, okay? And this man, his name was Sir, because he was very special, Isaac, anybody know? Newton! Yes, Sir Isaac Newton, he found out that pi was 3.1415. Wait a minute, let's look at Mr. Kramer's calculator. I'm actually going to show you that on my calculator, there is actually, you wouldn't believe this guys, there is actually a pi button. So if you have an iPhone, an iPad, you will see when you turn your calculator, and I'm gonna show you right now, when you turn your calculator, Mom? sideways like this, there's a pie button at the bottom of the bottom row and the middle, the middle column. And if you hit it, 
you will see the first 15 digits of pi and believe it or not, Sir Isaac knew, oh wow. Nathan, let me see it again. Let me see it again. Nathan. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, wait a minute. Nathan, what comes after the number three? Because my calculator doesn't go to as many digits as yours. Can you tell me? What uh, digit? It's, four. it's a four. So I'm going to write a four. Now, Sir Isaac Newton, he oh, was wow. able to do pi to 16 digits. And then you wouldn't believe it, but Along came, along came the year, I believe it was 1966. And one of the first computers, one of the first computers ever made, it calculated the number pi to five, hundred thousand digits after the number three. So 3.1415, five, five hundred thousand digits. Now, don't get scared, don't get scared, but in the year 2017, there was a Swiss mathematician. And after the number three, one, four, one, five, guess how many digits he could calculate? How much? 22 trillion <laughs> digits. Now, wow. all of you mathematicians, you know what you want to do. You want to write the number 22 trillion. So everybody write the number 22. And write it kind of on the left side of your page. I, I don't even like where I wrote it. I'm going to write it on the left side of my page. Now, after the 22, I want you to make a little comment. Make a little comma to the lower right hand corner of the number two and follow that with three zeros. Now, Whoa. who can tell me, who can tell me what that number is? Raise your hand if you know that number. Okay, Nathan, we're gonna go with you. Um, yeah. 22,000. Yeah. What? That's so huge. Okay, do it again. Tell us, do you know what happens if we add three more zeros? Uh, is it 22 million? What? Yeah, yes, it's 22 million. Now, do it again. Do it again. No. No. Now, who is crazy to take a guess? Eleanor, go for it. Oh no, someone was here. Oh, go ahead, Eleanor. I can't hear you, sweetheart. And did you billion? Oh my God, twenty-two billion. And Nathan, what do you think is going to happen if we make three, four zeros? Tell me, Nathan. Twenty-two trillion. You are correct. Now, everybody, look at this. This group of numbers right here, these three zeros, these are called the millions. These are called the thousands. These are called, the, some people say the ones or the hundreds. I said hundreds. And, and Eleanor told us that this next group is called the billions. And Nathan told us that this group is called the? Trillions. Trillions. Now, I will tell you this. I never want you guys to memorize 
more than nine digits. After I never want you to do that because it's kind of a waste of time because even scientists only use about nine digits of pi. So if we look back at the number pi on our calculators, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you want to memorize the digits of pi, just memorize. Everybody, let's say it out loud. Ready, go. Three points. Three points. One four. One four. One five. Nine two. Nine two. Six five three. And that is pi. Can you believe it that when we started this lesson, we were talking about how many unit squares fit into the unit circle? And of course, the answer is a pi or 3.14 square unit. Now, the next thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go to page three in your packet. Now, page three is a funny, funny page because Mr. Kramer drew a radius in blue and then I drew another radius. Now, if you put one radius up against another radius, guess what it's called? Who can say what it's called? if you go all the way across the circle. On three. One, two, three, go. Diameter. It's called a diameter. Everybody hold up one of their circles and make a diameter go all the way through the center. Oh, wait a minute. Now, do you know that Eleanor, Eleanor, look at the bottom of your, of your pen. The bottom of your pen is actually a little tiny circle. It's really kind of cute. You, it's a circle. Oh, yes, yes, Stella. Stella's circle may even be smaller. Now, my circle. Mine is a smiley face. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is coffee. This is my coffee pod. And my coffee pod is a circle. Okay? So there's a lot of circles in our world. But we need to know a diameter. Now, are you ready? Are you ready for the next piece? This is the most fun. Take your diameter. Everybody quiet while Mr. Kramer's speaking. Very important. Now, I want you to take your diameter. And let's say you could flexibly stretch it along the edge of your circle. So I'm actually going to start right now with my red diameter. Now, I'm going to make it really, really thick red. Let's see, okay. how about like this? I'm gonna make my diameter very, very red. Then I am gonna take a different color and I am going to trace it along the edge of my circle. Now I'm gonna try to approximate that this green arc is equal to my diameter. Everybody say green arc. Say green, green arc. arc. Green, so I'll even write it. So green arc is equal 
to my red diameter. So my red green diameter. arc. Now, what if I ask you how many green arcs do you think we could fit around the perimeter? Everybody go like this. This is called the perimeter of a circle and it has a special name. I wanna see everybody doing this right now. The perimeter of a circle. The perimeter of a circle. Is, it has a very funny name. Who would like to learn the funniest name there is? Are you ready? This is very funny. It's called a circumference. Everybody say it. Circumference. Now, how many, how many green arcs that are equal to my red diameter do you think I could fit around my circumference? So clearly, I already made one. So I want you guys to, well, trace, to trace lines and tell me how many. What do you think? It's really quite fascinating. In fact, I think I'm gonna make my next diameter in blue. And then I'm gonna make my next diameter in purple or pink, I'm not sure what you would call that. And look at this, guys, there is a little bit left over. So I made one diameter, two diameters, three diameters, and guess what? A little bit. Now, guys, is a little bit a number? Guys, is a little bit a number? Or is that kind of just a bunch of English words that means something really little? I think, what do you think a little bit is? How much? I think it's a number. What do you think that number is? Now, remember. Think about the number pi. Remember, it was 3.14, which is very, very close to the fraction three and one what? Ace. Wow, you sound just like a Babylonian, one of the greatest mathematicians in history. But we found out that the actual number, the actual number was very close to three and one seven. Everybody write that down. Three and one seven diameters. Three and one seven diameters. And it's really, really fun. Now, now we are going to do our own. We are going to act like ancient mathematicians. Now, I want everybody to go to page seven in their packet. Everybody go to page seven. Okay, got it. Now, what I would like you to do. And Eric, I was wondering if you would lead us off. Eric, do you have a ruler with you today? Something that you can measure diameters and circumference? Do you have a ruler? Yeah, let me find it. I have a tape measure. Oh, and can you tell me, is your tape measure, Nathan, inches or centimeters or both? And Jason and Eleanor and Stella and Eric, I want you to look at your ruler 
to see if it's centimeters or inches. Centimeters is called metric and inches is called standard. They're just inches on mine. Oh, they're just inches? Mine, I'm so proud of mine. Mine has both inches and centimeters. The smaller units are the centimeters. How about yours, Jason? Oh. Oh, wow. What about you, Eleanor? What is that one? Eleanor, do you have a ruler? Yeah, oh, she may be frozen right now. Stella, yeah. what about yours? Both. I only oh. got inches. I only got, I got inches and I got feet. How many feet? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So for instance, my everybody look at my tape measure. My tape measure is exactly one meter. So this is 100 centimeters. My tape measure is exactly 100 centimeters. Now, Eric, what about yours? Is yours inches or centimeters? Inch or centimeters. Oh. 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 oh, it's both. Wow. Now, Eleanor, Eleanor, I couldn't hear you earlier. Do you have inches or centimeters? Okay, good. Nathan, what's your question, buddy? 12 inches is one foot. Oh, my God. That is so awesome. The same way we can say that 100 centimeters is one meter, we can say that 12 inches equals one foot. Now, I want you guys to take one of your circles. And I think we should start with a small one. And I'm gonna measure the diameter of my circle. I'm gonna measure the diameter. And when I look at it, I, know. I want everybody, I oh, wow. Know. Now, everybody look, I'm gonna write down, and you can write it down too, the word coffee. <laughs> Mr. Kramer's coffee, coffee. coffee. Is two inches, two inches in diameter. So everybody write the word coffee because that is what Mr. Kramer was using as his circle. Thanks to friend Craig. And the coffee has a diameter of two inches. Now, if circumference is a little bit more than three diameters, what do you think the circumference of Mr. Kramer's will be? We have to think of something a little bit more than two plus two plus two, or we can say two times three. Who knows what two times three is or what two plus two plus two is? Let's say it on three. One, two, three, go. Six. Yes. Six. So everybody write down six inches. Now, I will tell you, if you remember the number pi, is a little bit bigger than three. So if I'm looking at pi, you know it's a little bit more. So what we're going to do though, and Jason, do you have a question, buddy? Jason, do you have a question? No? Okay. Now everybody, watch how Mr. Kramer is going to measure the circumference of his circle. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my circle mm -hmm. and I'm going to go from one end all the way around to the other end with my tape measure. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have a flexible tape measure, you won't be able to do this. You may have to use uh, a piece of string and then you mark it where it comes around. Well, Nathan has a really good flexible one. Eleanor, I'm not sure I've seen yours yet. And, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it. Mr. Kramer's circumference is exactly six inches. Wow. So if I was a, a little bit more. Now, now, who wants to share their circle? And everybody's going to work on that mathematician. Who wants to share first? Who wants to share their circle? I shared my coffee. Who's going to share their circle? Come on, take a chance. Take a chance. Oh, Jason. Jason, is that a can? Yeah. So everybody write down the word can. Now, Jason, could you please measure the diameter of your can? Can you measure the diameter of your can and tell us what you get? And Nathan, what is your object? My object is a water bottle. Water. Water and Bottle. And what is yours? <laughs> Eleanor, what is your circle? Uh, I can't hear you, honey. <laughs> yeah. I, so just so you know, your internet is not, um, is a little in and out. So I could not hear you. If, so hold on one second. If you show it to me, that might be helpful. And Stella, what about yours? What about yours, Stella? This is your circle. And Eric, what about your yellow plate? I love your yellow plate. And, and so you have a, a plate and Stella, you haven't shown me yours yet. My um, yellow circle over here. Oh, so she's got a yellow circle on the wall. And the only person I still, yeah, Eleanor is still frozen. So it must be her internet. Now, Jason, oh, look at that. So she's got tape. I finally saw it. It is tape. Now, Jason, what is your diameter? What diameter? And, and I want, I want Nathan and Eric and Stella and Eleanor to, to, to measure their diameters. Who has their diameter measured? Okay, go ahead, Nathan. Four. Four. Three inches. Wow. Everybody can write down three inches for Nathan's. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hold on. That is the water bottle. I apologize. Jason, what about yours? Five. Oh, everybody write down five inches. And what about yours, Eric? Your plate. What is the diameter of your plate? Or maybe, Stella, you could tell me the diameter of your yellow circle. Or Eleanor of your tape. Mine was eight inches. Wow. Everybody write that down for the yellow circle. And what about your tape, Eleanor? T. 
You know, Eleanor, honey, do me a favor. If you can send me a chat with the information, that would be great because your internet is very um, spotless. Um, now, Eric, I'm ready for your diameter. A little bit louder, buddy. Four. Oh, my God. Guys, this is so exciting. Everybody had a different diameter. Everybody had a different diameter. Now, Eleanor is going to send me a chat with hers. So I'm going to go check my chat. And Eleanor, when you're ready, you can send a chat if you can hear me as to what your diameter is. Now, I want everybody right now to please take the number. Oh, great. Hold on a second. Everybody has to write down Eleanor's. Eleanor, she sent me a chat and she said that her diameter is nine centimeters. It's a little bit different than inches. In fact, in fact, if you, everybody look at this knuckle right here. Everybody show me this knuckle on your finger. Everybody show me this knuckle on your finger. Everybody. Go like this. Show me that knuckle. Now, that knuckle right there is about one inch or about two and a half centimeters. So Eleanor's tape is two and a half of these, but adding up all the way to nine. Pretty cool. Now, now, I want everybody to tell me, look at the number five. Who can count by five three times? Who can count by five? Are you ready? Five. Ten. Ten. Fifteen. Everybody write down 15 inches because three times five is 15. Now we're going to do Nathan's water bottle and we have to count by threes. Are you ready? Let's do it. Three, six, nine. Nine. That's it. So write down nine inches. Now, we now have to do Eric's plate. So we have to count by four. Everybody on three. One, two, three, go. Four. Eight. 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 Twelve. Twelve. Everybody stop there. Let's do it again. Four. Eight. Four. Eight. Twelve. And so everybody write. Well, wait a minute. We're only doing three because pi is a little bit more than three. Everybody write down 12 inches. And by the way, for anybody who wants to count past three floors, you can do that right after class. Now, the yellow circle, I'm sorry to say, happens to be one of my favorite. And the reason is that it's eight inches long. And I love the number eight. It is so lucky for me. All right. Now, does anybody know how to count by eight? Now, if you don't know how to count by eight, just think of A equals 10 less two. So everybody go like this, 10 minus two. 10 minus two thumbs. So if you take your 10 fingers minus two thumbs, that is eight. So I always think of, Add 10, take away two. Say it, again. Say it out loud. Add 10, take away two. Add 10, take away two. Everybody say it. 
On three, one, two, three, go. And ten, take away two. Add ten, take away two. Add ten, take away two. Add ten, take away two. Two. Add ten, take away two. Now, let's do three of them. Are you ready? If we add 10 to eight, we get 18. And we take two away from that. And what do we get? Six. Everybody say it. Eight, sixteen. Eight, sixteen. Now let's add ten, which is twenty-six. But we need to take away two. And if we take away two, what do we get on three? One, two, three. Twenty. Four. Yes. So everybody read it out loud. Eight, 16, and 24. Now, I have to tell you something. My prediction, Stella, is that your circumference is going to actually be 24 plus one inch. Who knows 24 plus one? 25. 25. So Stella, I am, am guessing that yours is going to be 25. Now, Eleanor, Eleanor happened to create tape with a nine centimeter diameter. Now, everybody, do you know that the number nine is very much like the number eight? The number nine is actually 10 minus one. Everybody go. 10, take away one thumb. 10, take away one thumb. That is nine. So now, all we have to do is add 10, take away one. Add 10, take away one. Add 10, take away one. Are you ready? Nine plus 10 is 19, take away one, and we get Eight. 18. 18. Add 18. 10, add 10 now, add 10. 28, take 28. away one. What is 28 take away one? 27. 27. Yes, yes. So 27. my prediction, Eleanor, is that your take is going to have a circumference of 27 plus one centimeter. Anybody know 27 plus one? 28. That's it. 28. That's it. Now, with the last four minutes, work with your parents or on your own and try to figure out the centimeter of your object. So I'm going to try to figure out the sorry circumference the perimeter of my circle and i'm going to do it with a tape measure go ahead stella Everybody, watch what I'm doing with my plate right now. I'm actually wrapping my tape measure around my plate. I'm going to wrap the tape on the plate. That's and maybe because house. Eric has a plate too, he can do the same thing. And maybe, maybe you can all do the same thing. It's really not... Easy. It's not nine, it's 10. Wow. Wow. So let's see. When, when Nathan did his water bottle, he said it was more like 10. And we know it's going to be 
more than nine. And 10 inches is more than nine. Who can tell me their circumference? Who can tell me their perimeter of the circle? Who can do that? Does anybody want to share? Stella, did you measure your yellow circle? Stella, yes or no, honey? Can you unmute yourself? No. Stella, can you unmute yourself, please? Were you able to do that? Eleanor, what about you? And Jason, what about you? And Eric, what about yours? Well, I'm going to let you guys. What's yours, Eleanor? And Stella, what's yours, honey? I got 20. 20? Wow. It may be, it may be, guys, that that the diameter of Stella's circle was a little bit less than eight inches because she got 20 inches. Jason, do you have yours? Eleanor. 9.5. And how about you, Eric? 29.5. Oh, guys, we have to say goodbye right now. I'll miss you guys. Have a fun Bye -bye. Hi day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.